Hi. How are you? Hey, Tom. Good night. Good night. Keep it short and sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, kind of surreal. Well, what just happened out there? But not not the result. But uh, just even playing that game was surreal for us. We were sitting down, just watching the the boys get on the field after everything that has happened this year for us in Argentina, and it's even happening now. So just being out there and uh, and playing like they did, uh, I would have said the same even if we lost. I would have been more disappointed, but I'm as proud as I am right now. What did you say for a game before the boys went onto the field? There's not magic formula. I mean, there's always, it always has to be one word, but we started working on, on January with Pablo and some of the boys around what team we wanted and just talking about identity and culture and uh, and the, this, and the, the, the big difference, I guess, is that they own it now. It's their team. Either that, I mean, you can say everything, but there's no, yeah, there's no magic formula. It's, it's always the players, and uh, they've been great throughout the whole pandemic situation. Just going from quarantine from to quarantine. This some of the boys haven't seen their family for four months, um, and and they they haven't complained once. Uh, and they, they were always positive and uh, throughout in, in Argentina, in Uruguay, in Australia, it was. And then we got together with these guys that they went through through their quarantine. We, we finished being the only team that quarantined. Um, so, yeah, they, yeah, they, they've been awesome. It's, it's the first time Argentina's beaten the All Blacks ever, 35 years. How does that feel and how will this be received back home? Uh, I, yeah, I received, I imagine Pablo did too, but... Um, I received a lot of messages. Yeah, yeah. For us, well, the, for us and for everybody, it's the reference, and that, that's one. Of, I think it's the only team we haven't beaten. Um, so yeah, I, I think we remember this for, for for a long time coming. Not not only because of the the, the game, but that this special situation that got us to the game. Yeah. I guess somebody will write a book about it or something. <laughs> Given all that context, is, is this the, the greatest victory that you've been involved with uh, as far as I'm Myself? Um, it has to be up there, 100%. Yeah, it has to be up there. And, and, and I guess uh, as a coach, the best one, because from everything we lived and experienced and the, the whole emotion, emotional journey that we've been through, yeah, 100%, uh, yeah, number one, number one. Up in the coach's box, Mario, like, you're very emotional, like, immediately. No, no, no. No, not at all? No. <laughs> Did you expect to be like that? I mean, like, what, like, even just out on the field with all the Argentinians singing and dancing, like, what does that mean to you? Ah, that was crazy. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, they, they just show themselves as, as they are. Our players are, are like that, and uh, Argentinian people is like that, and, uh, I think that um, throughout a long time we were copying what other, others were doing, and, and we're different. We're just different, and uh, we pretty, we're really, really proud of being different. Like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know me a little bit. I'm, I'm, I am emotional. I mean, I haven't changed. Uh, let's just enjoy this one first. I'm just dealing with this whole, you know, the high of the situation and then <coughs> where do you go next week? No, just stay humble and keep uh, keep working as uh, we've been doing and just connecting and uh, and not enjoying ourselves, but uh, living intensely the, 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 the moments that we are together. This is it's very special for us. Were you surprised how many, how, how few mistakes the guys made? And given that you haven't played that much rugby this year? Yep. Yeah, yeah, but uh, and, and they were really disciplined around what we were trying to do, but because they really believe in what they're doing, and that and that makes the makes the difference, I guess. Pablo, um, just to talk us through from a player's perspective, being on the field, did you think that you were capable of doing that? 
Yeah, 100%. But not just the, when, the, when the game started. Like, <clears throat> as Mario was saying, we've been working a lot since a time ago, a lot of time ago. And, and I think that we have a great team. We have a great team. We have a lot of uh, new new players, young players arriving to the team, and and they're putting a lot of energy. They they really know uh, what represent what represent the jersey back in Argentina, and and I'm sure that the we started believing in the, in the team we got, in the players we got, in the experience we have, the the, the new players that that arrived, the, the work we put in. So. We knew we have a we could we could win this game. We we knew we could. We just have to go to the to the pitch and take it. No one is gonna is gonna give anything to us. So we just went there and and, and knew we we have everything to do it. So we believe in ourselves and and we have a lot of emotions and a lot of energy coming from a lot of places back home in Argentina. It's it's tough there at the moment. Uh, as Mario was saying, it was tough for us to be all together here in Australia. So we are representing a lot of things. So I think that was a a plus in in the energy we we put in the game today. Your defence was immense. Uh, can you credit that to during quarantine doing training inside the hotel? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think the I think it's just trusting in the in the guy you have at the right and the guy you have at the left and. And knowing that, that he's gonna defend with you, and and you you, you can't see the trust, or you can't talk. You had to feel it. And I think that today we we felt it really strong, and we were comfortable without the ball. We, we were disciplined, and, and we knew that the guy uh, at our side was gonna do the job, and we just need to be patient, and and our defense was going to get the give us good results. There was plenty of passion and niggle out there. Was that the game plan? Just get straight in their faces. I don't know, that's not the game plan. I think that that's every time we put this jersey on, and and more now that uh, we put a lot of work to preparing this 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 game and this tournament, and it's just the way we 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 feel the game. How did Czech feel about it afterwards? It would have been nice to have him in the box with you. Ah, uh, he was he was pretty calm. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a camera over there. Just watch it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he was pretty calm. Marcelo wasn't as calm as I knew him when he was a coach. But um, no, he was pretty calm and he was pretty happy for us because he, he's, he's experienced what we've been through. Uh, he, we started doing Zooms and teams and meets long ago with Czech and the players and he saw the, the conditions we were, we were training in. And uh, then when we got the quarantine, for some reason he couldn't, he couldn't be on the pitch with us. So he was looking from a box and we're, then we were doing Zooms with him. And then uh, when we went out, then the other group came and we couldn't be together. And so he experienced a lot of, of the things we were living. So he was really, really, really happy for us. Pablo, um, can you, Michael Checker, what, what's he brought to the team? I'm not going to talk about the whole experience that he has as, as a coach and, and all the things he can bring to the to the game, but seeing it from outside for a while, seeing us as a team from outside, he just came the first day and he said, hey, I've, what are you waiting for? You, you got everything. You got big players, physical players, young players, a lot of energy. Go and take it. Just go and take it. You, you, what are you waiting for? And, and I think that uh, that makes us believe a lot, a lot more in ourselves too. So. So it's been it's been great to have him around, not just about the the rugby thing. So he feels he feels the uh, the game in a special way too. Um, Warish just going to ask about Nicolas Sanchez. Just your thoughts on his performance, and was when he kicked that penalty from halfway when you thought, but you know we're home, and that's when you could. Uh, same same thing as Pablo said. Um, we felt Lingo was in a very good place since he since he got here. Even even before the chats we had during the year, um, you just don't come out here and, and, and perform like that because of some, I'm going to repeat myself, some magic formula. 
he prepared himself to to be successful mentally physically and uh, he was spot on on the on the game plan too um yeah so we we felt we felt that he could perform like that not not as much but uh he was in a very good place how will you celebrate um no 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 well we have three more games and uh we haven't played a lot so we're gonna put them in on ice now <laughs> everybody up to here and uh we'll have a, a couple of quiet ones and uh just start thinking about celebrate obviously because it's a big thing for us and uh and then from tomorrow on onwards just start working again mario um you didn't uh, really use your bag. Why are you using a, a Stade Francais Parce polo shirt? I like it. Ah! Eh? Mais si vous voulez. Um, you, use your, you didn't use your bench that much. Uh, how was, it, was that planned? Or, uh... Well, the, we, we, we were in communication all the time with, uh, with the guys on the ground and asking them how the, the, levels, the levels of energy of, of the guys were. And, and he, they kept on telling us they were, they were good. Um, and then, obviously, at the end, we thought that uh, we needed a little bit of energy, and, and we moved the bench. But uh, I just thought that the guys were really good till they came out. Just yeah, the, the plan was to maybe get them a little bit earlier, or we thought that we couldn't cope with the rhythm. And uh, but uh, but they did. How do you condition the players to play 80 minutes when they can't play a game? Uh, you have to ask them. I mean, we had a no, plan. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got an excuse because you played in France. Not, not too much. He played two games, so he hasn't played much. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of players that played played a lot, uh, and that comes to things that are well, they are intangibles. It's difficult to explain. We had a, a lot of soft tissue injuries. We were, yeah, we we we, we came from, yeah, really far and. Uh, comes down to energy and yeah commitment and uh, yeah playing for the the, the, pe the most beautiful jersey in the world. Murray, um, the Haguar is their future completely in doubt. Mm. Is that the statement that Argentinian rugby just announced to the world? Well, the, the, it's the only place where we, where we can do it, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. Congrats. Thank you very much. See you soon. Uh, yeah.